opting for the five wood. That wasn't their best approach, Beamer. What a shame. Has hit a lot of greens today, just not on this occasion. And he's down there. You got a read? Setting up this part 14 feet from the cup. This one's tracking. Yeah. Good job. Nice par. We'll now move over to John Rahm. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. Let's catch up with John Rahm. It's time to check on the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying an eight-stroke advantage. When they stand on the tee at the par 4 14th, Rich, I'd imagine that fortune favours the brave. It does. I think that players, should they decide to take this tee shot on with a driver, want to go at the second fairway bunker as this fairway pitches severely from right to left. A driver will get you in there close enough to hit wedge for your second shot, which turns a difficult hole into an easy hole. Playing this shot from around 120 yards. This one should find the rough. That's a tad wayward, not quite finding the surface. Well, this is one of those lies that dictates a shot. It doesn't seem like it's a tough one. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Trying to save par here. Yeah, we'll take that. Still in the lead now after that hole. The 15th, par four, but a strong one. Fairly simple and straightforward tee shot here as the fairway pitches in from both the right and left hand sides. So hitting the fairway shouldn't be much of a problem. From there, the second shot goes straight back up the hill to a green that's protected by bunkers on the left hand side. You like that, didn't you? Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Sitting up here from about 160 yards. She is absolutely locked in here. John Rahm playing against her seems to have upped her game as well. Found the green side bunker. Looking for an up and down here. Let's get back to it, shall we? Oh, a nine-foot chance here. That's tracking. And yet another putt drops, so now 10 under par heading down the stretch. What a great feeling that must be. Seemingly an insurmountable lead for this player with just four to play. And Rich, here we are at the 16th at TPC Twin Cities, and not a long hole, but there's plenty of trouble around. Water right, bunkers left, but let's face it, Luke, not a long hole, no need for the driver. This one looks to be headed towards the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 16th. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Leading by nine strokes after that one. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Yeah, nicely played. 
Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Tracking. Ouch, that hurts. Just a short putt remaining here. Let's go to John Rahm. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Our current leader is enjoying a 10-shot lead. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. And a chance to ice the tournament here. Holding the lead, playing the last. She's a top quality player, this one. This shot here from about 240 yards. Going with the hybrid. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, absolutely flushed. Everything on the line with this putt for her. Oh, just missed. Not the end of the world. There's another chance here to close out the victory. That's a PGA Tour title to add to the list. Your 3M Open champion. Congratulations to the 3M winner. Only the best of the best win here in Minneapolis. Well, when it comes to performances that they'll remember, that certainly has to be one of them. What a brilliant play today. Luke, while they've been out on the golf course, I've been cooking. Here, smell this. We've got to eat up. It's some humble pie. We shouldn't ever have doubted them. There was some spectacular golf out there, and it was a pleasure to watch. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.